We've already talked about what your servo roll feed is and the major components of it. We're going to dive a little deeper into the control side of things. So what is this servo motor and, and why? The servo motor itself is a AC motor that is coupled with what's called an encoder. Now that encoder has a multi-point resolution so it can tell you exactly where it is based on rotation. It measures in a circle and how many times that circle hits these points it'll tell you what distance it's traveled and that distance is controlled by this motion controller. This motion controller knows exactly how many points from that servo motor means what distance. So we are able to use this motion controller, take your press signals, convert your plant AC power through your drive amplifier. That motion controller sends a command signal into your drive amplifier. It then sends motor power to your servo motor, which then sends your rollers to position at a certain time which is controlling your speed and velocity and then as it is seeing its results varying because power will vary and all of these things the, the, the resistance of your material your drive amplifier will actually trim what power is needed to accomplish that feat right so it's it's monitoring that many 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 times a second in order to trim that so that's essentially how that works. So you have position feedback that shoots over to your motion controller. You have velocity feedback that shoots back from your servo motor. You have your command signal, comes from the press, from the motion controller, into the drive, converts your AC power from your plant. You have your power to your motor, moves your feed rollers. Your feed rollers are geared top and bottom, and you achieve what you're going for, which is moving that material into position in a given time.